going on y'all hey look man this is life coach d oaks man look y'all i want to thank you so much for tapping into episode 131 and you know you watching just my one cent man look y'all this episode of just my one cent man look we still making history man at city of oaks publishing man so look i'm strongly encouraging man all of y'all out there that's watching, y'all got stories, man. You need to share your story because your story is unique and you need to share it with the number one team, man. You know what the number one publishing team stay, man, and that's City of Oaks, man. So look at here, man. I'm putting that in the description, man. City of Oaks where you can reach us, man, and get some help putting your story out there. Actually, just... Look, I'm going to say it this simple. We're going to turn your story into a profit, man. Now, how that sound? Man, look, she was the man. I was a woman. I was the woman. Number one seller right now on Amazon, man. That's our latest ebook, Man, author Robert Matthews. Shout out to my boy, Cool Rob, Robert Matthews. But anyways, man, let's get on to this Just My One Cent. Because look, man, we have to stop retreating so fast, man. As soon as we get a little taste of adversity, man, you know, it'd be the smallest things, man. You know, you get thrown them curveballs, man. Listen, that's going to happen. Any point of life, any level, whatever you're doing, man. And listen, the more you want done, Man, when the curveball come, that challenge is going to be even greater, you know? So, like, the more you want, the higher the risk is going to be. But listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all something real quick about me. When I see adversity through these lens, I see opportunity. See, that's where you have to defer from the others, man. So, when people... If, if people out there trying to figure out what's so different about me, what makes me different, hey, listen, when I see adversity, I'm standing. I'm standing strong. I'm going to take my lumps. And listen here, I'm going to respond. But more importantly, and this is what we got to get away from, more importantly, I'm proactive. Haven't always been proactive. So we ain't talking about somebody that's perfect. I learned that being proactive is way more beneficial than being reactive. And that's something that has to change in our culture. That's something that has to change in the way we're teaching our, our family, our children. Be proactive. But anyways, man, adversity has to become a, a thought of opportunity. Adversity just means that you're, you're getting an opportunity to learn something different, maybe of what you can't do. Or maybe you can't do it a certain way that you had in mind. Or maybe... Your timing may be off a little bit, but adversity, listen, what I'm trying to get y'all to understand overall is adversity, adversity is for, for that moment. It's for that moment because there's always another way. And listen, if the man upstairs put it in your way, in the way your progression, if he put it there, because he needs you to go another way. Hey, look, y'all, this is like Coach D. Oaks, man. You know, I hate to say goodbye, but listen, I got to get on and take care of some business. This is my one cent. I can't let you go without it each and every day.